Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Hey guys, it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck and today Joe and I are playing on Playing With Power. So I hope you guys enjoy. We had a lot of fun. Take care. We got Joe and Lynch from I Hate Your Deck to come on and play a high-powered game with us. I Hate Your Deck is a YouTube channel showcasing high-powered EDH, giving you an authentic LGS experience. We encourage you to check them out and consider supporting them as well. Our merchandise store is back. We have revamped our merchandise with updated designs and higher quality materials. You can help support us by buying a shirt or other merch today. The link is in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Lynch, piloting Marchesa, the Black Rose. This deck is all about reanimation and powerful loops that can be exploited with Marchesa's ability. Lynch's opening hand contains a Gravecrawler, Cast Dissident Mage, Reanimate, Swamp, Command Tower, Baseju who shelters all, and Aristic Study. Next, we have Cal, piloting Omnath, Locus of Creation. This deck is all about landfall abilities. It seeks to land extra land drops and generate advantage with cards that synergize with plain lands. Cal's opening hand contains a Tireless Provisioner, Arcane Denial, Temple of Mystery, Soul Ring, Rejuvenating Springs, Mountain, and a Command Tower. After that, we have Joe, piloting Sithis, Harvest's Hand. This deck is an Enchantress deck seeking to cast enchantment spells, draw cards, and slowly lock down the board. Joe's opening hand contains a Burgeoning, Two Forests, Arid Mesa, Temple Garden, Bountiful Promenade, and an Authority of the Consoles. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting Perforos, God of the Forge. This deck seeks to land its commander and burn off the table by creating an army of goblins. Ryan's opening hand contains two mountains, Jewel Lotus, Panharmonicon, Norn the Wary, Felden of the Third Path, and a Goblin Offensive. Without further ado, let's kick off this dramatic dictation of dastardly daring duels. Lynch wins the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny and gets to start us off. Lynch draws a card for turn and plays a Baseju who shelters all into play tapped. He passes. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts an Arcane Signet. Cal passes. Joe draws and plays a Bountiful Promenade. He casts Burgeoning. Everyone sighs, and Joe ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts a Forest onto the battlefield. Ryan casts Norn the Wary. Everyone asks Ryan to read what in the world that card does. He reads it, everyone starts to worry, and Ryan passes the turn. Lynch draws and plays a Command Tower. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts a Temple Garden onto the battlefield tapped. Lynch casts Gravecrawler. Norn the Wary triggers and exiles. Lynch passes. At the end of Lynch's turn, Norn the Wary re-enters the battlefield. Cal draws and casts a Tireless Provisioner. He plays a Temple of Mystery into play tapped. Temple of Mystery triggers and Cal scries one. Tireless Provisioner triggers and Cal creates a treasure. Burgeoning triggers and Joe puts a forest onto the battlefield. Cal casts an Esper Sentinel and passes to Joe. Joe draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts his commander, Sithis, Harvest Hand. Norn triggers and exiles. He casts Authority of the Consoles. Sithis triggers and Joe gains a life and draws a card. Esper Sentinel triggers and Cal draws. Joe cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts Greater Oromancy. Sithis triggers and Joe gains a life and draws a card. Joe passes to Ryan. At the end of Joe's turn, Norn the Wary re-enters the battlefield, but enters tapped due to Authority of the Consoles. Authority triggers and Joe gains a life. The turn then moves to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a mountain. He casts Jeweled Lotus, exiling Norrin. He cracks his Jeweled Lotus and casts his commander, Perforos, God of the Forge. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Norrin the Wary re-enters tapped, Joe gains a life through authority of the consoles, and then everyone takes two damage from Perforos. Lynch draws and plays a Swamp. He taps his Beseju and casts Dockside Extortionist, exiling Norrin. Dockside enters, it triggers, and Joe gains one through consoles. In response to the trigger, Cal sacrifices his treasure. Then Dockside's ability resolves, and Lynch creates eight treasures. He cracks treasures to help cast Ristic Study. Esper Sentinel triggers, and Lynch pays. He casts his commander, Marchesa the Black Rose. It resolves, enters the battlefield tapped, and Joe gains a life through consoles. Lynch moves the combat and attacks Joe with Gravecrawler. Marchesa's dethrone triggers, and Gravecrawler gets a plus one plus one counter. Joe takes the hit, and Lynch passes. At the end of Lynch's turn, Norrin re-enters tapped, and Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Cal draws and plays a Rejuvenating Springs for turn. Tireless Provisioner triggers, and Cal creates a treasure. Cal casts his commander, Omnath, Locus of Creation, paying the Ristic Tax, exiling Norrin. 
Omnath enters tapped, Joe gains one, and Cal draws a card. Cal casts Sylvan Library, Rhystic Triggers, and Lynch draws. Cal passes, Norn enters tapped, Joe gains a life, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Joe draws and plays a forest. He casts Sanctum Weaver, paying the Rhystic Tax. Sithid's Triggers, Joe gains a life and draws a card. He casts an Aura of Silence. Esper and Rhystic Trigger, and Lynch and Cal both draw. Sithis Triggers, and Joe gains a life and draws a card. Joe passes, Norn enters tapped, Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Ryan draws and plays a mountain. Joe's burgeoning triggers, and he puts a Hall of Heliod's Generosity onto the battlefield. Ryan casts Hordling Outburst. Norin, Rhystic, and Esper all trigger. Ryan doesn't pay for Rhystic or Esper, and Lynch and Cal draw. Then Norin exiles. Outburst resolves. Ryan creates three 1-1 one, one tap goblins. Joe gains three, then each opponent takes six through Perforos. Ryan passes. Norin enters tapped. Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Still in the end step, Lynch casts in two. He fetches up a Metallic Mimic into his graveyard. Lynch draws and plays a Badlands. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts a Forest onto the battlefield. He casts Reanimate, targeting his Metallic Mimic, exiling Norn. Reanimate resolves, Metallic Mimic enters tapped, Lynch loses two life, Joe gains one life, and Lynch names Wizard through Metallic Mimic. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Dethrone triggers and gives each of his creatures a plus one plus one counter. Ryan takes it all. Lynch passes, Norn enters tapped, Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. During his draw step, Cal draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep an extra. He casts an Ancient Green Warden. Norn and Restrict Trigger, Lynch draws, and Norn exiles. Green Warden enters tapped, and Joe gains one life. Cal plays an Ancient Tomb for turn. Tireless Provisioner and Omnath both trigger twice through Ancient Green Warden. Cal creates two treasures, and then he gains four life and adds red, green, white, and blue. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Dryad of the Elysian Grove, paying the Aristic Tax. It enters tapped, and Joe gains one life. Cal plays a Myriad Landscape into play tapped as his Dryad land for turn. Cal creates two treasures through Provisioner, and Omnath deals four damage to each of Cal's opponents. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Omnath, Tireless Provisioner, and Esper Sentinel. Ryan takes it all. Cal passes, Norn enters tapped, Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Joe draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts Luminarch Ascension. Sithis, Norn, Rhystic, and Esper all trigger. Cal and Lynch each draw a card, Norn exiles, and Joe gains a life and draws. He casts Elseid of Life's Bounty, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis. He taps his Sanctum Weaver for eight white and casts Smothering Tithe, paying the Rhystic Tax. Sithis triggers, Joe gains one and draws. He casts Wild Growth, paying the Rhystic Tax, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis. He casts Sylvan Library, paying the Rhystic Tax, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis. Joe wins his turn, Norn enters tapped, Joe gains one, and then each opponent takes two through Perforos. During Ryan's draw step, Joe creates a treasure through Smothering Tithe. Ryan plays a mountain for turn. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts Scattered Groves onto the battlefield tapped. Ryan casts Thrill of Possibility, discarding a card as an additional cost. Norin, Rhystic, and Esper all trigger. Cal and Lynch draw, Smothering Tide triggers, Lynch pays, Cal doesn't, Joe creates a treasure, then Norin exiles. Ryan then draws two cards through Thrill of Possibility, Tithe triggers again, and Joe creates two more treasures. Ryan casts Endless Atlas. Ryan passes, Norin enters tapped, Joe gains one, then each opponent takes two through Perforos. Lynch draws, Tithe triggers, and Joe creates a treasure. He plays an island for turn. He taps his Baseju to help cast Altar of Dementia, exiling Norin. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Gravecrawler, Dockside, and Marchesa, and Joe with Metallic Mimic. Dethrone triggers, and Metallic Mimic gets a plus one plus one counter. They all take it, and in his second main phase, Lynch sacrifices Dockside to Altar of Dementia, milling Ryan for two. Lynch moves to his end step, and Dockside triggers through Marchesa. It re enters the battlefield and creates 21 treasures. With the Norn trigger still on the stack, Lynch responds by flashing in a Vincer, Shaper Savant. Vincer enters tapped with a 1 1 counter, Joe gains 1, and bounces Omnath back to Cal's hand. Lynch then sacrifices Vincer to Altar of Dementia, milling Ryan for 3. Then Norn enters tapped, Joe gains 1, then each opponent takes 2 through Perforos. The turn finally moves to Cal. During his draw step, Cal draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library, putting 2 back on top. Tithe triggers 3 times, and Joe creates 3 treasures. Cal recasts his commander, Omnath, exiling Norin. Omnath enters tapped, Joe gains one life, and Cal draws a card. Tithe triggers, and Joe creates a treasure. Cal plays a Scalding Tarn for turn. Tireless Provisioner creates two treasures, Cal gains four, and then adds red, white, blue, green through Omnath. 
He plays a forest as his Dryad land for turn. Cal creates two food tokens through Tireless Provisioner, and then each opponent takes four through Omnath. Cal cracks a food, gaining three life. Cal passes, and Vincer's Marchesa and Norin triggers all go onto the stack. Vincer enters tapped with a 1 1 counter, Joe gains a life, and Lynch bounces Perforos to Ryan's hand. Then Norin enters tapped, and Joe gains one. The turn then moves to Joe. During his draw step, Joe draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He casts Enchantress's Presence. Norn exiles, Sith is triggers, and Joe gains a life and draws a card. Joe casts Idyllic Tutor. Esper and Rhystic trigger, Lynch and Cal draw, and Joe creates two treasures through Tithe. Tutor resolves, and Joe fetches up a Leyline of Sanctity into his hand. He casts Leyline of Sanctity. Rhystic triggers, and Lynch draws. Tithe triggers, Joe creates a treasure. Enchantress's Presence triggers, Joe draws. Sith is triggers, and Joe gains a life and draws again. He casts Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Enchantress Presence, Sithis, and Rhystic Trigger. Lynch draws, Tithe triggers, Lynch pays, then Joe gains a life and draws two cards. He casts Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Lynch draws through Rhystic, pays for Smothering Tithe, then Joe gains a life and draws two cards. Then Dryad enters, and Joe gains a life from Daxos. He plays a Wooded Foothills for turn. He casts Aegis of the Gods. Rhystic triggers, Lynch draws, Tithe triggers, Lynch pays, then Joe gains two and draws two through Sithis, Enchantress Presence, and Daxos. Joe taps his Sanctum Weaver for 16 green. He casts Destiny Spinner. Lynch draws through Rhystic, pays for Tithe, and Joe gains two and draws two through Sithis, Presence, and Daxos. He casts Utopia Sprawl. Rhystic triggers, and Lynch declines to draw. Then Joe gains two and draws two. He casts Eternal Witness. It enters, and Joe gains a life from Daxos. Joe then returns Idyllic Tutor to his hand. He casts Idyllic Tutor. Rhystic triggers, and Lynch declines to draw. In response to Tutor, Lynch sacrifices Vincer to alter a dementia, milling Ryan for two. Then Tutor resolves, and Joe fetches up a City of Solitude into his hand. He casts Ghostly Prison, then gains a life, and draws two cards. He casts Blind Obedience. He gains a life, and draws two cards again. With Blind Obedience still on the stack, Cal cracks his Scalding Tarn, paying a life, and fetching up a taiga onto the battlefield. Omnath triggers twice, Cal gains four, and adds four mana to his pool. Provisioner triggers twice, and Cal creates a treasure and a food. He then cracks his treasure to crack his food, gaining three life. Then Blind Obedience resolves. Joe casts Argarthian Enchantress. Rhystic triggers, Lynch draws, Tithe triggers, Joe creates a treasure, then Joe gains two life and draws two cards. He casts City of Solitude, gaining a life and drawing two cards. With City on the stack, Lynch cracks treasures to cast an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Joe casts Teferi's Protection. In response, Lynch casts Pact of Negation. Pact resolves, Teferi's Protection is countered, and with Cyclonic Rift still on the stack, Joe cracks his treasures for mana. Then Cyclonic Rift resolves and bounces all of Lynch's opponent's non-land permanents. Then City of Solitude resolves. Joe recasts Sithis. He recasts Burgeoning, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis. He casts Aura Shards, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis again. He casts Alciad of Life's Bounty. Rhystic triggers and Lynch draws. Sithis triggers and Joe gains one and draws. Alciad enters, Aura Shards triggers, and Joe destroys Lynch's Rhystic Study. Joe casts Blind Obedience, gaining a life and drawing through Sithis. With nothing else, Joe passes the turn. At the end of Joe's turn, Vincer re-enters through Marchesa, bouncing City of Solitude back to Joe's hand. Then Norin re-enters, Joe discards the hand size, and the turn moves to Ryan. Ryan draws and casts Felden of the Third Path into play tapped, exiling Norin. He casts Skirk Prospector into play tapped as well. Ryan attempts to move through phases, and Lynch responds by sacrificing Vincer to Altar of Dementia, milling Ryan for three. Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Vincer re-enters through Marchesa, gets a plus one plus one counter from Metallic Mimic, and bounces Aura Shards back to Joe's hand. Then Norn re-enters, and the turn moves to Lynch. During his upkeep, Lynch pays for his Pact of Negation. He draws and plays a Swamp. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts a Plains onto the battlefield. He casts Kess, Dissident Mage, exiling Norrin. It enters tapped through Consoles, with a plus one plus one counter on it through Mimic. He moves to combat and attacks Joe with Dockside. Dethrone triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Joe takes it, and in his second main phase, Lynch sacrifices Dockside to Altar of Dementia, milling Ryan for two. He sacks Vincer to Altar, milling Ryan for three. Lynch passes. At the end of Lynch's turn, Vincer and Dockside both re-enter through Marchesa. Dockside creates four treasures tapped through Blind Obedience, and Vincer gets a plus one plus one counter through Mimic. Still in the instep, Cal taps his Ancient Tomb to help crack his myriad landscape, fetching up two planes onto the battlefield. 
Then Norn re-enters tapped, and Cal moves to his turn. Cal draws and recasts his commander, Omnath. Norn exiles, Omnath enters tapped, and Cal draws a card. He casts a Soul Ring, entering tapped. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Dryad of the Elysian Grove, entering tapped as well. He plays an Island for turn. Omnath triggers, and Cal gains four. He casts Tireless Provisioner. It enters tapped, and Cal plays an Exotic Orchard as his Elysian land for turn. Burgeoning triggers, and Joe puts a Plains onto the battlefield. Omnath triggers, Cal adds four mana, Provisioner triggers, and Cal creates a treasure into play tapped. He casts Esper Sentinel. In response, Joe casts Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up a mana reflection onto the top of his library. Then Esper resolves and enters tapped through Blind Obedience. He casts Sylvan Library. He casts Arcane Signet. Cal attempts to move phases, and Lynch responds by sacrificing his Venser to Altar of Dementia, milling Joe for four. He sacks Marchesa to Altar, milling Joe for four again. Cal moves to his end step, and Norin, Venser, and Marchesa trigger. Vincer and Marchesa enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter through Mimic, and Vincer bounces Omnath back to Cal's hand. Then Norn enters, Cal discards the hand size, and the turn moves to Joe. Joe draws and starts off his turn by cracking his wooded foothills, paying a life, and fetching up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts Replenish, exiling Norn. The table groans, and Lynch responds by sacrificing Marchesa and Vincer to Altar of Dementia, milling Ryan for seven. Then Replenish resolves. Joe returns Sigil of the Empty Throne, Heliod Suncrowned, Mana Reflection, City of Solitude, Utopia Sprawl, Wild Growth, Nylia God of the Hunt, Sanctum Weaver, Daxos Blessed by the Sun, Destiny Spinner, Dryad of the Elysian Grove, Greater Auromancy, Enchantress's Presence, Sylvan Library, Aegis of the Gods, Aura of Silence, Luminarch Ascension, Smothering Tithe, Leyline of Sanctity, Authority of the Consoles, Ghostly Prison, Nyx Bloom Ancient, Marari's Wake, and a Privileged Position. Daxos triggers seven times, and Joe gains seven. He casts Argothian Enchantress. It enters, and Joe gains one life from Daxos. He casts Aura Shards. Joe gains a life and draws three cards through Sithis, Enchantress Presence, and Argothian Enchantress. He casts Birds of Paradise. He extorts it through Blind Obedience, and each opponent loses one, and Joe gains three. Birds enters, and Joe gains one through Daxos. Aura Shards triggers, and Joe destroys Cal's Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Joe casts Land Tax, gaining a life and drawing three cards. He casts Heliod, God of the Sun, gaining two life and drawing three cards. He casts Survival of the Fittest, gaining a life and drawing three cards. He activates Survival, discarding Fine Horn Elves, and fetches up a Walking Ballista into his hand. He casts Walking Ballista, where X equals 14. He extorts it through Blind Obedience, with each opponent losing one and Joe gaining three. He activates Heliod, giving Walking Ballista lifelink until end of turn. He presents a loop of activating Walking Ballista, removing a plus one plus one counter, pinging an opponent, gaining a life, triggering Heliod, and putting a plus one plus one counter onto Ballista. He does this over and over until the table is dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun game. Congrats to Joe on his win. He had an amazing deck that completely spiraled out of control very quickly. It was doing all kinds of cool things while creating a pressuring board presence for the rest of the table. The most valuable card in tonight's game goes to Authority of the Consoles. This one mana value card completely swung the game in Joe's favor immediately. It made all the pressure towards him delayed and created a completely losing race against Ryan's Perforos deck. This unassuming card was an absolute powerhouse from the very first turn. A big thanks to the team over at I Hate Your Deck for hopping in to play a game with us that night. We had an absolute blast playing with them. We highly encourage you to hop on over to their YouTube channel, checking out their content, and consider supporting them as well. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the high-powered EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. All right, everyone, time for Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to give a shout-out to Gabriel Adams, Thomas Thurber, Carrie, Noah Criswell, Mario Acevedo, Nod Noodle, Nicholas Tatum, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Ryan Wright, Votto Von Trapp, Otto Von Trapp, Ivan Frapperl, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Willow Lysander, Pyro, Dark, Mr. Doc Profolimic Swaggy Pants the Third, Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutphin, 
Ryan Brower, Rune, Rakeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quickdraw, Zods, James Cody Halley, Spencer Ryborn, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Coran, Darius Mitchell, King O'Sharks, Nick, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tauntaun101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers. Thank you all very much.